This is the box that the Little Tykes first fridge came in. There's no picture on either side. It's just a generic box. I'm assuming there's probably another box inside that actually has the pictures. So we'll find out here shortly. Okay, yep, another box is inside of there. So we're gonna pull that out. Okay, look at this. Alrighty then. Looks like we got the fridge. Looks like your standard toy box here from this view. And it's got a little demonstration thing here. Push here for the working ice dispenser. That's that red button there. So I got a clip here that doesn't come off. I guess that would be stolen easily in the store if it did. That's just for display. All right, I'm gonna crack this baby open. Hopefully there's only four different places where this needs to be opened. Um, right here, there's tape here, and there's tape here, and right here, and then there's tape right here if you uh, pull the box up and look. So I'm gonna cut that open and hopefully I can pull everything out. Okay, I used some scissors to cut that tape. It actually cut very easily. So we're gonna open this up. Hold up those flaps, and looks like there's a piece of cardboard that came right out of there. And looks like it's gonna slide right out. Okay, so it was definitely a two-hand job getting that out of the box, so I had to put the camera down. But uh, once I took it out of the box, there's nothing else in there, it's just cardboard. There's no other accessories in there, so it looks like it's fully assembled and has the stickers on it already, hopefully, but we'll find out. I'm gonna take this tape off and we're gonna see. So we got some more down here. stopping me from opening it. Oh, looks like it's just pulled right out. Oh, it's the bottom part. It kind of looked like a door, but it's really a freezer. So we open that up. There's some trash here. I'm going to throw out. Like, here's the drawer. Different items for both the fridge and the freezer. There's ice cream, there's milk, the orange. Ice tray, it looks like, and a couple other things. Looks like some hooks or something in there, possibly. So that's the freezer. I'm gonna set that all off to the side for now. Now with the refrigerator, I'm already looking at the back. So I'm just gonna show you. It looks like there's some uh, cushion here. Protect it during transit. Almost knocked it over there. Throw that out. There's that. Looks like there's some cardboard hiding up here. Anything else? I don't see any other padding. I'm gonna turn it around. Looks like the power button is on top of the refrigerator part. So, I don't know if that's on, off, or demo. That's very vague. So I'm gonna take this tape off the top. like there's some plastic here that's gonna require scissors there's a plastic zip tie in there so we're gonna cut that you can see that all right that's stopped really easily and something else is holding it in there so that's just a piece of plastic here so just pull that out it's got a piece of plastic the other end's probably inside the fridge so let's set that off to the side for now by some more tape on the bottom. It sure is. I 
This will be easier with two hands, but I don't have a tripod right now. So bear with me. All right, tape is off. Put in the fridge. Okay, it is completely empty and ready for toys and stuff. Uh, it's got an instruction manual and a shelf, presumably. It goes in there somewhere. Uh, we'll find out here soon enough. And there's the other end of the zip tie. Just make sure you pull that out and throw it away. And here's some tape down here that's holding that other piece of plastic from the ice dispenser. Once you take that off, the plastic piece will... Uh, it's not sliding right out. <laughs> Looks like you might want to slide it out from the front. Yeah, slide it out from the front. Okay, there's that. I was getting ready to crack this open, and then I noticed something I wanted to explain. Um, this has a piece of tape holding it, but there's ice in here right at the top. See that cube? I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. It's not trash, it's not a piece of junk plastic or packaging, it's actually an ice, ice cube. It looks like there's um, at least another one in the side of there too. So just keep that in mind when you open that up. Okay, so I opened up the plastic bag of accessories that came with the fridge, came with a carton of milk, came with ice cream, an orange, ketchup, some trays. There's an ice cube tray that has two cubes already in it. And there's these two plastic brackets that are the same, and then there's these plastic brackets. This is the other package that was attached to the ice maker. It's a cup, obviously, with two more ice cubes. So that completes the uh, four cube tray there. But um, I closed up the fridge, and there's still the freezer that needs to be dealt with. So I'm going to have to crack open this instruction manual and see what's going on here because I haven't figured out what this is for yet without looking at the instructions. So let's check it out here. Whenever it's time to replace the batteries, the battery compartment's right there above the power switch. The fridge takes three double A's. So after looking at the instructions, step one says open the fridge's doors and push in the back wall. That kind of surprised me because I thought it was just one unit, just, you know, on first glance. But it does actually separate, so when you push out the wall, it's hard to do with one hand, but I'll take that crack there down there so you'll see it it does separate like that so that's cool so that actually expands out like that and the next step says to align the openings on the sides so you'll see that there's you know some brackets of some sort here so you have to line them up it's hard to do with one hand but get that point here so you see there's holes on the side down here looking at the fridge from the outside you'll see how the holes line up between the the main part of the fridge and the part that we just pushed back and it comes with these they call them screws in the instructions and you can see that they line up the vertical part of it lines up and then you turn it kind of need two hands for that but let's uh, let's just imagine that I'm turning it with two hands and it locks into place so I got the first screw to lock into place what happened was I had to push from the inside I had to push that piece in in order to allow that screw to turn see I'm turning it right now it wouldn't turn like that because this part here needed to be pushed in a little bit from the inside so it's definitely a two-handed job and you'll do the same thing with that middle hole and then the bottom hole and you're gonna do that on both sides okay I got all three of these screws in one thing I wanted to mention is um, it does take two hands but it also takes a little bit of force to turn those screws 
because there's ridges. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but there's ridges there that that screw sits in. And you have to use a little bit of force to turn it, otherwise it'd be too easy for it to come apart. If you do both sides and then close the fridge and look at it from the outside, this is what it looks like. These are the screws that we turned in the previous step. Which leads us to the next step, this shelf. I was puzzled at first as to how this is supposed to fit in that fridge, but after doing the screws in the previous step, pushing the back out and doing the screws, it all makes sense now. So now you have room to put the shelf in. Make sure that there's corners that are cut off. They go on the front of the fridge. So sneak it in there, crooked, diagonal. Make sure it's over the little shelf holder tab thing there. So put it in there diagonal, and that goes right down. It sits right there. And you just give it a, a delicate push down to make sure it's down the whole way. And that's all you got to do for the shelf. Okay, we're going to move on to the freezer. It looks like some similar steps are involved with this. It came in three pieces. And then we have the screws that we're going to use as well. So the first step with the freezer, which is step five, tells us basically to do the same thing we did with the fridge. The back pushes out. I actually pushed out a little easier with one hand this time. But we're going to do the same thing. Push the freezer out and line up the holes in on the side and put the screws in and turn them. Same exact process. Remember to push you might have to push in from the inside as well. One important thing I wanted to mention is the direction state five screws. If you didn't notice, there's two screws on each side. That fifth screw is on the bottom, so you have to turn the freezer upside down and then do the screw, and that's five. Now step six requires us to put some pieces on the top of this freezer piece that we just did, right here on the top. There's two round holes and two square holes, which leads me to a correction to something I showed you earlier. So there's actually, there's, there's the two different ones were, that are the square shape that I showed you earlier. And I kind of had them all grouped together, but these two are different. And these two are the ones we need for this step. They are the same on each side, and they go in, just snap right in, and the other one fell on the floor from that cool snapping action. Snap that right in, and we have two round ones, you saw on the previous steps. We're just going to snap those in, they just push in, nothing fancy, no turning, they just push right in for me. So that's all that there is for step six. Step seven, it looks like we're just attaching the fridge to the freezer. It says open the fridge doors for a better view of the location of the openings. So let's give that a shot now. Fridge. Sit that there. I'm gonna open the fridge like they said. Looks like it does just line up straight. And this is going to be a little hard with one hand, so I'm going to do that offline here. I didn't snap these in place yet, but I wanted to show you once I got two hands on it. The easiest way that I found to line them up is to just look at those back holes as a guide. So those two are lined up now. I'm just going to give it a push. It takes a little force. And then push down on each side. Does that feel like it's, that doesn't look right. Maybe that's in another step. But looks like both sides push down here and we're all set with attaching. We just need to put the front and the back of the freezer door together. So this is the front of the door, this is the back. Make sure the back of the door is lined up correctly because at first I had it down like this, but the holes don't line up right horizontal versus vertical. So just make sure it's turned around where the vertical part of each 
piece lines up, insert those screws from the outside and turn them and you have your door. It just tells you to insert the drawer into the bottom of the freezer. So just slide it on in there and good to go. It's all built. There we go. The final step really just tells you put those trays in here. So these trays that we had from a previous step here, I'm just gonna slide them right in here. Not good one hand step here. Again, you'll need two hands. See that popped right in. And that's gonna pop right in, but I don't have two hands right now, but you get the point there. One thing I wanna mention is this fridge has very convenient handles. So whenever you pick it up from the back, there's a nice handle here. You can fit a few fingers in. Not so much the bottom, but the middle here makes it easy. On one final note, I wanted to mention the set comes with an extra screw. This is on purpose. You didn't forget anything. And it actually tells you right here, the unit comes with 16 screws, but you only need 15. The refrigerator makes some interesting noises. I just turned it on. It looks like the X is demo mode, the O is off, and then that line is on. It kind of sounds like a hair dryer or something. Then when you open it up, it gets a little louder. There's a light as well. You open a freezer, it makes a different sound. Oh, that's a really intense sound there, like you're on the Arctic tundra. Then you can push the button to get some water and ice.